So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another Docker video in which we're, we're going to explore about Docker PS and basically how you can see containers running inside your Docker daemon, right? Docker instance, whatever. So what happens is first of all, we need to pull a container image, right? In this case, I'm just going to pull Ubuntu. So we're going to say Docker pull Ubuntu here and hit enter. Now this is going to download an Ubuntu minimal version just like we discussed in the last video and uh, because we I already have this um, installed on my system so you're going to see that the image is up to date for me but for you it might pull and take some time. So once it's done that means now you have access to an Ubuntu image to be used as a primary base image for your Docker containers. Right so once you have done that what you want to do is you want to run a container on the basis of this image you have pulled right so how do you do that is you do that by making use of docker run command now docker run command is a very um, very I would say powerful command provides you tons of options you know you can customize the resources your container have the volumes mounted a lot of things we're gonna get into all of that later on but for now it needs at least a base image name on which the container should be based right so in this case it would be ubuntu right ubuntu now when you run this you're gonna see that nothing happens now the reason why nothing happens is because docker is configured to run a single process how docker is configured is that um, it would run one process and it would wait for that process to exit when when the process exits the container exits right so this is how docker works and you can do nothing about it to change it right so docker you cannot use docker to run a full-fledged server or anything but obviously there are ways to make that happen but how a docker works is as long as this docker run command is running your docker container would live and as soon as that command ends it would be exited Right, so how do you make use of this now? Well, for command line, what you can do is you want your container to be interactive. That is what this I flag provides. And you want um, to have a sudo terminal support as well for this container image, which is, which is what this dash T provides, right? So I can actually combine this to just Docker run it and Ubuntu and hit enter. So you'd see that when I do this, you're gonna see we get an access of root at the rate this thing now this is a small part of the container ID that is your host name and yeah I mean basically right now you're inside an Ubuntu um, environment and this is actually an Ubuntu not to just you know fake around so I can just go ahead and write get etc OS version or OS release and you're gonna see that we are running Ubuntu 18.04 LTS which is the latest LTS version we have for Ubuntu right so this is how you're gonna make use of this and you know it's, it's basically a completely isolated container from the host at least right now and uh, you can just you know do a lot of stuff if you want or preserve root and well you know you have just basically just screwed up your whole system right you can just exit from the system you can see the status your container is no longer available so you can see right here if I do docker ps I get nothing but I can list all the containers and I'm gonna see this container right here which uh, is what we had you can see this is the same container name right and it just exited about 10 seconds ago because the moment I wrote exit the bin bash process exited which was running and uh, the container was automatically uh, you know exited so if I run this command again you're gonna see um, I get this but if I run docker ps now you're gonna see that this is container which is right now up and I just get it from docker ps because docker ps just lets list the running containers so this container is live right now right so the moment I exit it you're gonna see it's no longer there but I can find it inside the docker psa which is it just exited three seconds ago right so this is how you're gonna make work with docker you can just you know pull any image just 
uh, get a shell inside it, explore it a little, exit it out, and it will automatically kill itself. Now, this might not really seem super useful at first, but it is, it is humongously useful, trust me. Um, you can, basically, if you want, you can just run uh, maybe Ubuntu in such a way that you just, you know, this is a typical way of running a container in the background, uh, in the foreground forever, and you can run all the processes you want in the background. So now this container would run as long as I do not press control C or, you know, just exit out of the, not really control C, but actually I have to kill this because this process would keep on running for nothing. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, you just have to kill it yourself if you want when your task is done, right? So that's how it's going to work. So anyway, we're going to come to all of this later on, but uh, I guess that should give you a pretty decent uh, intro to how docker and stuff works so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching like the video and i'll see you then in the next one